All right, guys. All right, everybody, Bear Leader here uh, with another, it's gonna be a video series I'm gonna try doing uh, over the summer. One of my goals is to get better at my slap shot. Uh, I used to have a much better slap shot than I do now, and I'm gonna try and get better at it. So what I'm gonna do, take a lot of shots. Uh, you can kind of see my setup here in my backyard. I have this uh, giant piece of plastic I just have out here. Um, get close, you can see it's a pretty thick piece of HDPE. Um, the same stuff that's used for uh, the boards in hockey, and that's what the shooting boards are usually made of. So it's a real big, thick piece I got from a warehouse place online. Uh, the piece itself only cost me like 15 bucks but it was like 30 bucks or something like that to get it shipped because it had to be palleted and dropped off at the end of my driveway. And it's super, super heavy. Um, so that's a, that's a pretty cheap tip if you want to uh, get a nice shooting pad is find a plastics distributor and look for uh, offsets, off pieces of HDPE. Um, it actually was super, super cheap. I have a couple thin ones. You can get really thin. This is way thicker than it needs to be. Uh, so there you go, you can see that. I have my bucket of pucks with leaves from the fall because that's very important to have the leaves in there. And then I have my net. Uh, this is regular regulation net. Um, it's old. You can see the net, the actual netting itself. Pretty beat up. Um, got a couple zip ties holding it sort of on. Uh, not great. Need to definitely get a new one this year. Um, have on here the uh, little pockets here to shoot into. And most importantly for me, I have this backstop all around here. So that way that um, when I miss, and I will miss a lot, is they puck stay in. It's, uh, this is the easy goal. You can see here, it's the easy goal that's on here. It was super, it was actually really easy to put on. It took longer to string it up than it did to actually attach it. It's attached with a couple of bungees. If you can see here, a couple of bungees on here. A little better down there holds it in and uh, those just keep the sides on because uh, that's really all you need is you just need the sides to hold on and the top here just stays stays up and holds on and you want it to be kind of loose so it actually catches catches the pucks and doesn't shoot them right back at you so that is uh, what I will be shooting at so not super far away I don't have a huge huge runway for it because I have the shooting pad kind of off to the side here so it's not taking up my entire backyard but it's it's a decent enough distance. It's uh, basically like a slot from shooting from the slot. So not great for slap shots, but decent enough. So there you go. That's what the summer project is going to be: is searching for my slap shot. Okay. So what this video series is going to wind up being is kind of what you're seeing right now. Uh, in that basket of pucks right there, there's a little under 50 pucks because uh, I've lost a couple. And I'm going to try and get through that at least three or four times a week, uh, if not more. Ideally, like five times a week, go through all those pucks and just practice shooting. Uh, I'm going to take video of everything and try and watch the videos to figure out what I'm doing wrong. Watch online videos, break it down as best as I can, and get my slap shot better. And I'm going to do that and show everybody what I'm doing. Uh, you'll get to see every couple of weeks where I'm at. I won't record everything and put it up, but I'll show you the end results of every two weeks or so of what I've done, what I've tried doing, what's worked, and what hasn't. So hopefully my slap shot gets